And our guest is uh, Tim Cook, who is the Chief Credit Officer for Frontier Farm Credit, as well as uh, Farm Credit Services of America. And, uh, and Tim, we've kind of set the stage on the kind of where we got to where we are now. Um, so let's talk about credit availability, uh, opportunities uh, for maybe if farmers uh, paid off some of those loans or bank some of that. Uh, how are we looking uh, into uh, 2021? You know, as, as we come off of 2020, we've talked about, we, we think overall profitability is gonna be pretty strong. Um, some of the ad hoc program payments that we think um, will help restore some of the working capital that's been lost the last couple of years. So, you know, as we look at 2021, we think uh, producers have an opportunity to lay off some of the risk on the, the commodity price side and maybe even focus on whether it's rolling some equipment that has been deferred the last several years. Um, you know, we also think there's going to be a pretty robust real estate market this year. Prices have been pretty stable. Um, and we think those will continue to be supported by the low interest rate environment that we've enjoyed these uh, last six or seven months, uh, as well as, you know, a um, reasonable level of uh, real estate that will be on the market and available for sale. Tim, and that's what I think 2020, it's been a, a, a kind of start stop when it came to real estate. There may have been months or weeks that we say, saw a lot of sales, very strong sales. And then there was times when people held back and uh, still every day, there's still more things that we're not sure about moving forward with the, the COVID situation. But um, there's probably a lot of land that is ready, those generations have inherited it or whatever that maybe want to exchange that into cash. Yeah, I think there's a couple things that'll drive, you know, as we talk to, to realtors and, and real estate brokers, they're anticipating a, a very busy year for real estate activity. As you mentioned, you know, when, when COVID hit, a lot of things stopped and, you know, auctions that were scheduled either had to go to online or they were canceled altogether. So I think that rolled forward. You know, we've got a, change or at least what looks like a change um, in the administration coming in DC, some uncertainty about what does that all mean from a tax standpoint. And as you said, every year there's just a normal amount of estate activity that happens. So I think the confluence of, of those three components is also what will contribute to possibly higher real estate activity this year. All right, Tim, we appreciate your insights on uh, kind of where we have been and where we're heading and uh, interesting comments. So we appreciate it. Thanks. Yeah, glad to do it. Tim Cook, who is the Chief Credit Officer for Frontier Farm Credit and Farm Credit Services of America has joined us. Stay with us. We'll have more coming up.